up, what's up? It's Lord Vaki here again with another video lesson for you. And in this lesson, I'm going to be introducing Cubase. So first of all, what is Cubase? In order to answer that question, I'd like to take it from a music production point of view. So in order to produce music digitally, you need at least three key elements. You need a PC, you need your instrument, that is a uh, your musical instrument, whether you play a guitar, that could be your voice, that could be your bass, that could be your violin, any musical instrument. Then you need a DAW, D-A-W, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. All right. That is where Cubase comes in. So what is a DAW? A DAW, that is Digital Audio Workstation, is an application or any software that is used for recording editing and producing audio files or music all right so cubase is essentially a door there are various types of doors out there you have studio one there is ableton there is pro tools there is garage band there is reaper all right so for the purposes of this video i'm gonna be using cubase 5 if you want to download check the link in the description below also, do check the link to my merchandise. I deal in Ibanez basis, and I have a cool merchandise for sale. That's my T-shirt. If you want to support what I'm doing, kindly purchase via the link in the description below. If you're still watching this video, do like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Okay, so back to Cubase. So after installing Cubase, you want to launch Cubase, and you wait for it to load. The first thing that you're gonna see after it just loaded, it's this, especially for Cubase 5. Other versions have uh, different, I mean, interfaces. So this is the easiest that you can use. All right, so here, you're gonna see recording, scoring, production, mastering, and more than recent. So what you want to do is create a new project, all right? This is where you create the project. This is the name of the project folder. So you can just name it new, or let's say my name. You can use your name as well, Lord Vecchi. All right, and then you create a new project. So with the one that, with the keybase that's in the description, this is what you're gonna be getting exactly because it's not actually registered. All right, but you can skip this. Remind me later. You can always get by that. So this is the interface that you're going to be seeing once you open Cubase. Okay, so this is your project window. And this is the whole window. All right. So first of all, this right here at the bottom is your transport panel. Okay, you can click and drag it to wherever you want to put it. All right, you have one at the top here too. Now, in this panel, you have your transport controls. This is record, obviously. This is play. This is stop. This is cycle. This is, um, you go to the next. This is fast forward. This is rewind. And this is go to previous marker. All right. So in addition, you have uh, the metronome control here. This is uh, bits per minute, current time, and this is uh, Temple. We'll get into this later. If you don't see this panel here, you just go to the transport tab and then make sure your transport panel is checked. All right. If I uncheck it, it's going to go. So you make sure it is checked. All right. Then you have this. Okay. So this is a workspace divided into these lines. These lines represent bars. Okay. So this is your first bar, third, fifth, seventh. And here you have several tabs. This is the file tab. Here you can create a new project, a new library. You open an, an existing one, you open an existing library. You save your project, you save us. And when you're done, you can import audio files here. You can uh, export them when you're done, okay. Then you have the edit tab for editing. Then you have projects, you have audio, you have MIDI media you have the transport tab of course we'll get into all this in subsequent videos one important tab that i want to mention is the devices tab so let's say you are 
ready to record all right uh, so in order to record you need a PC of course you need the door which is a, the key base we have right here now you also need one more thing that is the audio interface or the audio link or audio interface the audio interface connects your instrument to the PC all right so I use a focus right uh, 2i2 audio interface all right audio interface is also referred to as sound card so once you connect your sound card you want to come here to the devices tab and set it up so you go to device setup and then once you click you have this now this is where you choose your driver or your sound card now, focus right is a, a plug and play i mean audio interface so once you plug it's going to show up here so you select your device which is focus right that is what i'm using here just click ok and now your device is set up the next thing you want to do if you want to record obviously is to right click so when you right click you see audio track all right add audio track so click and then uh, click ok and then disappears all right so you can double click here on this text to rename it to whatever you are recording all right so in this case i'm gonna name it to base okay so here you have uh, these buttons here you can expand this a little bit and see all the buttons here all right so this is record okay that is enable record if you want to record you want to enable this this is your monitor if you want to hear what you're playing then you have to put this on all right okay so once you put in your base you've connected everything you should be able to get a signal all right so this shows you that there is a signal okay so if you turn this off you'll not be able to hear anything all right matter of fact you get a signal here okay but you won't be able to get a signal here because your monitor is not turned on all right so in order to hear what you're playing you have to turn this on okay this is your mute button and this is solo okay so this mutes whatever you're playing and then you can bring it back on okay now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and tune your instrument okay so in order to tune the bass you click on this e that is edit channel settings okay so once you click this you see vst audio channel settings for bass obviously so here you want to add a tuner of course you can see a lot of tools in here you have delay you have distortion you have dynamics eq filter mastering modulation adder all right so you want to jump straight to adder and you want to open the tuner so you have to tune your bass any instrument that you're using i mean the string instruments you have to tune them so you can see that i'm tuning my bass all right always tune your bass always tune your bass before you play okay All right, so <clears throat> there you can explore it too, you know. Okay, so you can go ahead and close this window. Now you want to record your bass. So in order to record, you have to make sure this is on, your monitor is on, so you can hear whatever you're playing. And you want to hit record, right? So once you hit record, you're going to see it starts rolling.
all right so if you are done recording you want to press stop space bar for record space bar for stop as well okay so if you want to play back what you have recorded then not this marker this is the marker this is the zero marker all right so you can go straight back that is go to previous marker or you can just press zero on your keyboard and then it goes here and starts from here okay so if you have this monitor on you're not going to hear the audio output in order to hear you have to deactivate that okay all right so all right so that is what i've played all right all right so now you can hear your audio output so now that you have recorded how do you export okay how do you export your audio file all right there are so many things that you can do to this file but we'll talk about it later okay so let's jump straight to exporting this file all right so if you want to export this file first of all you want to make sure this is activated and then you want to go to the edit tab and then go straight to select okay so first of all you have to select what you want to export all right so usually you select all now once you select all this gets selected and then you press p so when you press p you see this blue I mean blue bar up to where you want to export up to all right so once this is done you can go to the file tab go to export all right go to audio mix down when you go to audio mix down this is what you're gonna get so you have the address to where you want to export to your audio and then you have the name you can name it base okay and then on the left you have this now you can choose whether to export a stereo or mono all right so wh whatever you're recording is mono but you can also export in stereo usually it's recommended that you export in stereo all right then you have of course you have the address here and then you have the file format in which you want to export all right usually wave file is recommended but you have other files as well you have mp3 and then you have wave and then you have eifc and other ones as well all right so after choosing your file format you can keep all this the same this is a 44.1 kilohertz sample rate of course you can change it but this is recommended okay um then you have a 32 bit bit depth that is also recommended so you can keep all this the same and then you want to hit export all right so once you click export it's going to export the file to the directory that you specified then you can get the audio file all right so in order to keep this video short i'm going to end here and follow up with subsequent tutorial videos on other aspects of cubase like recording mixing compression levels and so many more they are going to be more detailed than this one do make sure you like comment and if you're new to the channel subscribe i'll see you in the other videos